Hello, I'm Fred Smith and we're going to, what we're going to talk about today is how to get your iPad to display your sheet music and how to get your keyboard to control the iPad so the sheet music is displayed automatically. So here's the setup. I've got a Yamaha Tyros 4 and I've got an iPad and the two are connected by a, a this Apple calls this a camera connector because it goes from the 30 pin iPad Apple connection to USB. So now I've got a USB connection and out of here I've got a MIDI to USB cable. So I've connected the MIDI at the back of the keyboard goes into the USB into here. Okay, first you must buy an app to do this. The app that I use is Songbook. Songbook by Bomb Software. So, once you've loaded the app, then what you have to do is create PDF files of your sheet music. So that's what I've done. I have these PDF files of this sheet music and I have synced them using iTunes into the iPad. So I've simply gone into iTunes and said, I want you to sync all of these PDF files with, with Songbook. So if we look at any one of these songs, here's my sheet music that I've put on PDF files. Now, you have to set parameters so that the keyboard, the keyboard and the iPad can, can communicate. So I'll show you how that works. We'll go edit any one of these songs. Okay, so here on Amazing Grace, I've told it that I want you to use this PDF file. You could name it anything you want. I just happen to name all my PDF files the name of the song. And you can have genres so that you, and you can have playlists. But to sync it, to set it up so that the iPad and the keyboard can talk to each other, you tell Songbook that I'm going to send you, and the keyboard's going to send you a MIDI command. And the MIDI command is going to have these three bytes of data. They're going to have a high MSV of 100, a low SMB, M, LSV of 2, and a program change of 3. So Songbook, when you get those three bytes of data, you display this PDF. That's how you set up Songbook. So we're going to be done with that. And then I'm going to go over to here and let's go get Amazing Grace. We will go find it here. There it is. Okay. So now on your keyboard, you have to do the following things. Number one, you have to go to the function menu and then MIDI and tell it and set up a a MIDI communication file. I've called mine Open Text Setup. You can call yours anything you want and edit it. And in here, I've said that everything is off except channel one of the song. And for channel one of the song, I want you to send it out the MIDI B port on channel one. And Songbook is set up to receive on channel one. So you have to, that's a one-time setup. You only have to do it once and you never have to change it again. Then what you need to do is create a MIDI file for each one of your songs. So here, this, we don't, sorry, I've got to call this up. I've just loaded the registration. If I ask for registration number one, it has in it, as, one of, as the song in it, it has this one, Amazing Grace. So if we go take a look at this in Song Creator, so I'm going Song Creator, here's my Amazing Grace file, and what it's got in it is exactly these same three parameters, a bank MSB of 100, a bank LSB of 2, and a program change of 4. Now, if you remember, over here, I didn't have four. If we go back and edit Amazing Grace, which is here, I've got a hundred, two, and I've got three for the program change. 
Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Yamaha uses base zero for its base, sorry, base one for its program change, and everybody else uses base zero. So this number here has to be one greater than this number here. But once you've got that set up with the same codes for the MIDI file and the songbook file, then you can call up anything you want. So if I go over here to Ave Maria, call up my registration, which has stored in it Ave Maria, and play it, then it's going to display my sheet music for me. So that's how you get sheet music displayed on your iPad controlled by your Yamaha keyboard.